Wasim Nasser. Now, now, Wasim, there's still no claim of responsibility yet, uh, but indeed the Turkish government is pointing the finger at the Kurdish militia. Tell us why. Actually, because the Turkish government has uh, presented a few a few elements. Uh, he gave the name of the of the attacker, which is Salah Najjar. He gave uh, the town that he's from, which is uh, which is Amuda. It's a Syrian town, a Kurdish Syrian town. Knowing that from this town, a Kurdish faction uh, issued threats regarding Turkey uh, a few weeks ago, less than a week ago even, saying that they don't consider, they don't recognize the frontier between the two countries and that they are willing to send fighters to help their brothers in the towns of Caesarea and in all uh, the, the, uh, the southeastern part of Turkey uh, where there's an ongoing war since many months between the PKK and the uh, Turkish army. So this is, those are two elements. And the more than that, uh, Turkish authorities said that they are willing to share information with, the, with France, the UK, uh, the United States, Russia and China to prove what they are saying. And they, they put a kind of uh, ultimatum uh, or a deadline or uh, they are forcing uh, their allies, their Western allies especially, to make a choice between them or uh, the Kurdish factions, which goes either for uh, Turkey, uh, Iraq or Syria, because we have to know that they are fighting a very particular group, which is the PKK, since many years, and the Syrian faction, the YPG, and another Iraqi faction, depending also from the PKK. Where in Iraq, they, are, they have the support of Kurdish authorities, for example. The Turks have the support of Kurdish authorities. Even the uh, president of uh, the Kurdish uh, authority in Iraq asked a few months ago the uh, YPG, the Syrian YPG, to leave his territory. And he allowed Turkish warplanes to hit the positions of the YPG and the PKK in his, uh, in his, under his, uh, in, on the territory and under his authority. So it's a very complicated uh, game today uh, for Turkey. Uh, hell is breaking loose, if I may say so. When we look at the map, we see, for example, that in northern Syria, uh, rebel factions aided by the United States and Turkey are fighting the same YPG that is aided, for example, by the United States with the same arms. So it's getting very, very complicated today for Turkey to handle all this situation in the context of war against the Islamic State, where the PKK, not all the Kurdish population, but the PKK especially, is profiting from the situation by having U.S. aid, by expanding its influence towards uh, Turkey and Iraq, and by profiting from uh, the Russian bombardments in northern Aleppo to advance against the rebels. So the threat uh, for Turkey is still the PKK since decades, knowing that there was an ongoing civil war between the PKK and Turkish authorities for, for decades. So this is the map today, and it's very, very complicated uh, to handle for Turkish authorities and even for the allies.